After Typhoon Haiyan, over 90% of houses in Palo were ruined. Thus, city volunteers decided to organize 3A distributions to help local residents get back on their feet. Learning of city's upcoming event, local residents arrived early to wait, and several of them also brought filled bamboo coin banks to reciprocate city's help. City volunteers, one after another, unload boxes of city blankets, waiting up local residents who look forward to the upcoming event. Now I'm in Balas, Palo Town, Lake Province. Today, city volunteers plan to hold three aid distributions in this basketball court. Up to 1,000 residents have been here since 5.30 waiting for city's relief supplies. Prior to the volunteers' arrival, everyone lines up to wait. The roof of the distribution venue was damaged in the typhoon, but has been temporarily fixed thanks to the volunteers who raced to get it down before the start of the distribution. Because there are no other venues that can accommodate so many aid recipients, and we fear that it might rain over these few days, so we use tarpaulins as a temporary roof. Here, the situation is similar to Teclaban, with nearly 95% of houses damaged. <laughs> Giving their neighbors a gentle massage, city volunteers lead aid recipients in group activities as a way to start the event. Dear friends in the Philippines, sa November, ang pag-sapit ng Bagyong Yolanda. City volunteers first read Mr. Zheng Yan's letter to the residents, hearing Mr. Zheng Yan's words. Rowena Celote is among the many who are moved to tears. She says the terror of the typhoon still lingers in her heart. City's arrival gave us a great hope because we still need a lot of help, especially with our homes. When we learned that you had arrived in Tacloban, we desperately hoped that you could come to Palo too, because we need your help. Receiving love and warmth from global city volunteers, local residents find that their pain and loss vanishes. After hearing of Tsuji's bamboo coin bank campaign in Tacloban, Palo residents decide to reciprocate in the same way. Marlene Nablo, despite losing her home, is one of the many that takes the chance to reciprocate. I want to reciprocate too. I also want to help those who are in greater need. I heard that you will go to other places to help more people in need. I bought money here because I could help people. My nephew told me that we should make donations too. We can tell that they sincerely want to give. It is truly admirable to see them travel long distances to donate their love to help those who are worse off. With Tsuji's blankets, consolation cash, as well as the volunteers' warmest hugs, the aid recipients finally can quiet their restless hearts. My husband drives a rickshaw for a living and needs money to repair it so that we can get by in this difficult time. I'm happy to be here because I can get cash to repair his vehicle. I have my own business selling fruits and vegetables. Thanks to the volunteer support, these disaster survivors are able to find strength to get through the hardship and look forward to better days ahead.